Hi Internet, today I want to show you something which I'm really really excited about. It's a new open source project um, of mine. It's called Kandu and it's a new Pi menu. Uh, it will be available for Windows, for Linux and maybe also for, for macOS. And it's currently in a prototype state, but it's already pretty much fun to work with and therefore I just wanted to share with you the current state. All right, then let's jump right into it. So here's my desktop and when I press a specific hotkey, currently the example menu is bound to control space, the items will pop up. And in this example menus, activating the items doesn't have any real effect. It's just for playing around. But you can imagine that in the final menu, the items will, for instance, open your applications or files, directories, web pages or they could simulate hotkeys, or they could, for instance, execute arbitrary shell commands. So in this example menu here, the, the individual items here are actually submenus. So if I click one on one of those, uh, the submenu will pop up, and here again are some submenus, and then here are some final items, which I could select, but yeah, as I said before, this doesn't do anything as of yet. Yeah, and you do not actually have to click directly on the items. You can click, as it's a pie menu, uh, anywhere into the wedge of the corresponding item. So if I want to select this item here, I do not have to click here. I do not have to aim carefully. I can also click back here and the submenu will pop up around my mouse pointer. So I could select the items pretty quickly that way because I only have to throw my mouse pointer in approximately the right direction. But it actually doesn't end here with can do because there are even faster ways to um, select items. And that is by drag and drop. So I can click my mouse pointer here and then drag over here. And as soon as I stop the movement, the submenu will pop up. So I can continue moving the mouse pointer without releasing the button and just continue the movement. And when I then finally release the mouse button, the item will be selected. And in fact, I also do not have to wait to make the submenu pop up. I can also just make a turn. So if I make the movement, a movement like this here, so just a quick uh, turn, I will enter the submenu at the bottom here. So I can actually select items this way pretty quickly by just doing a movement like that. But this type of uh, interaction, I can select one of those yeah, I think in the in this example menu, there are actually about 400 different items. I could select one of those in well beyond a second, which is, it just feels, just feels nice. Yeah, and it actually doesn't end here. So there's even a faster way to select items in Kandu, and that is by holding down one of the modifier keys you used to activate the menu. That's pretty hard to show on camera, but but if I leave my pinky finger on control, so I open the menu with control space and I just leave my pinky finger on the control key. If I then move my mouse, the menu behaves as if the left mouse button was pressed. So I can just move my mouse to the item I want to select and then release my pinky finger on the control key to finally select the item. That way, I actually do not have to wait until the menu shows up. I can just issue the hotkey and move the mouse pointer to the corresponding item without having to press the left mouse button and this is extremely fast and it's just just plain fun to do that. Yeah, you can already test this. Uh, I will leave the link to the repository and to the installer in the description so you can install this already on your PC and play with it. And to get you started there's also a tiny tutorial included. So once you open the menu, a tiny button will pop up in the upper left corner. And if you click on this, there is a quick introduction. There are also some introductory videos, which basically show what I've just uh, shown you um, so that you learn how to most efficiently navigate in the menu. And there are also some example actions included here because in the Final menu, obviously all the different menu items will do something and you will be able to configure your own menus. And actually I plan to add support for application dependent menus. So based on the application, which is currently in focus, a different menu will pop up if uh, when you press the hotkey. And to demonstrate some of the possibilities, uh, what the individual menu items could do, the prototype already comes with a set of um, example actions. So if you open this sidebar here in the 
a prototype, there is this category of example actions and this gives you some ideas what you could do by uh, pressing or by activating the individual menu items. So for instance, you could open a directory. That's pretty basic here. Um, but this already works on, on Linux, on for instance, on GNOME, on Xface. This has been tested on, on KDA, KDE as well, uh, on X11, on Wayland. And obviously this also works on, on, on Windows. And there are some, maybe just open some more applications here. Uh, there are some example actions which simulate hotkeys. So for instance, here I'm currently on Ubuntu GNOME. If I press Control Alt and the right arrow key, I will switch to the next virtual um, desktop on the right. And if I now press this button here, yeah, exactly this hotkey is simulated and GNOME Shell switches to the, to the next virtual workspace. And in a similar fashion, for instance, um, can do could simulate Alt-Tab, so switching to, between different um, applications. So if I now press this button, um, actually some kind of macro is uh, executed, which presses the button with some delays between them so that we can switch here between the applications. But anyways, you, you get an idea that there are plenty of possibilities what you could do with this kind of, of a Pi menu. Yeah, that's it so far. I hope you like the concept, the idea of can do. And if you want to support or follow the project, just head over to my Kofi page. I will leave the link in the uh, description. Or just drop a, note, a, a comment here on YouTube uh, and tell me what you think about this idea. Yeah, and if you want, you can also go to the GitHub repository. I will leave the link in the description as well. And there we could discuss any ideas you have regarding the future of Kandu, what could be done with such kind of, uh, of a menu. Yeah, that's it for now. In the future, I plan to do more videos like this, giving you insights in the current state of the prototype. Until then, bye.